the manner of articulation. So concerning the manner of articulation, well, what we mean by this basically is the how, the way the articulation takes place, how, how. We talk about the how of sounds are produced, how sounds are produced. For example, th is, is like produced differently from, for example, n. Okay, we use different organisms that is about the air and the sounds, how they are produced, okay? How differently and distinguishly, like, they are produced by different organs, but it's about how, more than where, okay? For example, we have stop consonants, like, b, p, t, d, k, and finally, g. They are all stops or stop consonants. These sounds basically occur when the vocal tract is closed completely, as you can see from the picture, like, like that, okay? But for, for stops, the airflow is not redirected through the nose. Instead, the air quickly builds up pressure behind the articulators and then releases in the in a bus, okay, in a puff of air, okay, like that, okay. We have the close, of, you know, they are closed, like we have the some kind of closure of the air for for some time, but then there is some release, some immediate release, and this is and these are stop the characteristics of the characteristics of stop sounds or stop consonants again let's repeat that consonants or stop consonants are p b t d k and g nasal sounds as you can see from the picture nasal sounds are kind of they are produced more from the nose okay the ear goes in the nose instead of the mouth okay to some extent okay Nasal consonants are created when you completely block air flow through your mouth. That is, the air is not does not come out from the mouth, but instead it is blocked in the mouth in the oral cavity, but it is produced in the nasal cavity or basically the nose. Okay, oral cavity is the mouth and nasal cavity is the nose. Okay, it's from the na nasal nasal cavity okay nasal consonants are created when you completely block airflow through your mouth and you let the air pass through your nose like me na and na okay me like mad mother na like no now na like going cooking okay na and na again they are different okay we have fricatives, okay? When nasal and stop consonants involve a complete blockage of the vocal tract, fricative sounds involve only a partial blockage of the vocal tract, so that ear has to be forced through a neural channel, okay? You understand this? Okay. While nasal and stop consonants involve a complete blockage of the vocal tract, there is in p and n and you know stops and nasal both there is the blockage of the ear in the vocal tract in the in the oral in the oral cavity but fricative sounds by contrast involve a partial blockage only okay of the ear in the vocal tract or oral cavity okay uh, so that the ear has to be forced after that the, the ear is Forced after the partial blockage, the ear is forced through the a neural channel. That is, it, it come it releases completely from the vocal tract. Okay, and these sounds, of course, th, v, th, th, s, z, sh, j, and h. They are all fricatives. There is no blockage. No but only a partial blockage of the air okay we have a more of release of it's not just a puff of air but it's a release a neuro so a neural channel like 
It's not like to. It's the sh like that. Affricates. Affricates again. It's like a mixture of fricatives and stops. I'll explain why. Okay, let's read this. Uh, when stop consonants mix, mix with fricative consonants, the result is an affricate consonant. Okay, there is stop con a stop in a fricative consonants. There is a consonant which is a stop and another consonant which is a fricative, and they are kind of mixed together, and we have an affricate consonant. Okay, like for example, ch ch t is a stop. Sh is what? It's fricative. So we have ch and the ch is affricate. When the t and sh mix together, we have an affricate sound. Okay? Again, an affricate consonant starts as a stop sound with air building up behind an articulator, which then releases through a, ch a neural channel as a, an affricate, as a, a fricative sound. We have ch like chicken, and we have j like jam, jar, okay, like that. Again, j we have d which is stop, j which is fricative, j is an affricate because we have j, we have j, uh, j and d they are mixed, and we have an affricate consonant which is j. Approximant, uh, approximant sounds or approximants. Approximants are when t are or occur are uh, pronounced when two articulators come close together, but not quite close enough to create air like noise. Okay, that noise. Okay, there is like the flow air without any noise. Okay, approximants are when two articulators come close together. Okay, two articles like w, r, and y. There is no noise, and different articulators come to be close to each other. Okay, w like wet, uh, like so, w. Okay, y like yes, ya, r like right, and rar. Finally. Or last but not least, we have laterals or lateral consonants. These consonants occur when the tongue blocks the middle of the mouth, so that the ear has to pass through the side. Okay. Okay. Try to imagine with me that you put your tongue, or just try to practice with me that you put your tongue in the alveolar ridge. Try to put your tongue touching, touching, for example, uh, the alveolar ridge, and try to pronounce. The, the sound the l you you say that the the like the ear does not follow in the middle of the mouth but instead in the the left and the right sides of the mouth the ear flows there but not in the middle because the tongue blocks the ear to pass in the middle but in the sides okay and this is with the word la in luck beautiful la Okay, like that.